for high and ready today i'm making something for fall delicious wonderful apple bread there's nothing better sweet than smelling apple bread as it bakes in your oven it's wonderful i'm adding in two cups of sugar there's a lot of sugar in this but folks it's delicious everything out here we're low on sugar we got more sugar not to worry here we go Put everything out here we go perfect all right two cups of sugar two eggs no wait a half a cup of oil two eggs I gotta get my vanilla. I knew I forgot something. Yeah, my grandmother used to make apple bread, folks. It had such a wonderful aroma to it. Oh, it smells so good, folks. You have no idea. And I also want to add in my vanilla. I'm adding in two teaspoons of vanilla. Right, Misty? Misty! Oh my goodness! Two teaspoons of vanilla. I know you want to be in the show, Misty, but come on now. We've had a contract for many, many years, Misty. Okay. Mix this together. All you need is a spoon. A lot of arm movement, mix together. Now I'm going to go to the dryer in a minute. Okay. Now, this is going to require a lot no. of flour. I'm adding in three cups of flour. Really? Three cups of flour. One. Hi, Missy Bear. Come on. Here we go. Two. Yeah, all of a back on the show again. So good to have Misty back. Three cups of four cups of flour. We have always made apple bread this time of year, and folks, I tell you, there's nothing better than apple bread. It has this wonderful. I'm adding in a tablespoon of baking powder, you know, because we want it to rise, not have flat bread. Make sure this is clean. Up. But we have this always made sure the utensils were very clean. Our kitchen was spotless. Oh my gosh! And our kitchen always had that baking smell. One tablespoon of baking powder. And one teaspoon of soda. Misty? I don't know. She suddenly wants to be on the show again, but all right, whatever. Teaspoon of baking uh, soda. Move this out of the way so I don't add it in again. And one tablespoon of cinnamon. Misty, don't you dare eat that. I don't know what it is with cats. They have a thing about chewing things they should not be chewing. Okay, got to get this up. Here we go. Come on. When it gets out of the bottom, folks, it's really hard to get it all. Here we go. We want to add a tablespoon of cinnamon in. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to mix this together. Let me wash this off. I know it's going to go together, but still, you know. Get everything off. Now, we're going to mix the dry and getter together. Add into the wet. Now, folks, I'm going to warn you this is going to be dry until I get the apples added in. It's going to be very dry. You can see how floury this is. So I'm going to grab four wine top apples. It, it's already been grated. Very dry, folks. Folks, I hate to tell you, I might have to add a little milk, little milk in here. But the recipe is calling. But sometimes, folks, you got to go beyond the recipe. Yeah. it's too. I can see it's just too dry. So we're going to grab some milk. The recipe doesn't call for milk, folks, but folks, I have to be honest with you, I would consider adding in about a half a cup of milk. We need that, we need to loosen it up somehow. Here we go. Much better. You want to get moist, you don't want it overly dry. The recipe did not call for milk, but I took the chance in hoping it doesn't destroy it. But on the other hand, it was so dry. It's just a little too dry for my comfort zone, folks. So let's see how this comes out. Come on. Sometimes grandma fluctuated what the recipe actually called for, and her recipes were absolutely very professionally done. Okay. Okay. We're going to pop this in the oven and bake this for about a good hour. Here we have a delicious apple bread. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm glad I added that milk in, folks, because without that milk, it would have been too dry. Now, look how beautiful this apple bread literally came out because adding in that one ingredient that my daughter was a little hesitant about. The delicious apple bread, and it's great served. Let me pull my magical milk jug over here. It's great served with an ice cold glass of milk. It's delicious. It's wonderful. And it's a great fall treat to have in the fall time. It's always good to serve it a little bit warm. Look how beautiful that is. Delicious homemade apple bread. From Deborah's Home Country Kitchen, have a great day. Please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.